Namaste and welcome to the Yoga Pantry with me Natasha. It's been quite a while since I've actually filmed something that hasn't been recorded during Zoom or lockdown or anything like that. I mean technically we're still mildly in lockdown. We're in our level two in Auckland at the moment um, and hopefully next Wednesday we'll be back to level one which means that we can be normal. <laughs> Um, I thought that today we would do a um, cosmic fountain of youth kind of medley. We, we did this on my in my Friday class and it was awesome. Everyone felt amazing afterwards. So I, I thought that I should share it with you guys and see what you think. It's a lovely practice. It will stretch you out completely. Um, I don't know if I've got enough room in here because it does move forward and back. So I'm going to have to shuffle a little bit. If you've got a lot of room, you can just allow your body to flow or you can shuffle like me. So let's have a look at the Cosmic Fountain of Youth. Go and put on your yoga pants, roll out your mat and I will see you back in five seconds. <laughs> Press pause if you need a little bit more time. All right, we're going to start off just by warming up our shoulders, warming up our arms a little bit, because uh, there's going to be a bit of activity going on. I might just take off my mala because I'm going to be swinging my arms around. Um, and if you would like a yoga mala, it's a lovely thing to have with your practice. Like you can use it for meditation. You can just use it as a focusing tool. I'm going to place it here with my samadhi quartz and stretch my legs out, turn my feet out, and get into a gentle squat. Just find what's comfortable. Roll our shoulders out to begin with. We're gonna to start to charge up those feet, those buns, those glutes. <laughs> and just see how you feel, let the arms stretch up, see how that feels, maybe interlace the fingers, reach up, reach out to the side. Breathe, try not to grip your toes into the ground if you need to straighten out your legs. In fact, let's do that, let's come up. Exhale, and now squat again, and start to roll those arms out in front of you. Keep your belly in and lengthen your tail to the ground. Now we're gonna start to find a little action here. Oh, I've been doing lots of planks and chattering type of things um, as I teach my beginner classes chaturangas but planks to teach them transitions and I can feel it in my traps <laughs> be easy with your arms here let everything roll around I hope that this action isn't messing up my mic I'm trying a new mic today hopefully it's not going to be all crackly and I have to resort to camera audio let's go back the other way fingers crossed it's real good <laughs> breathe deep breaths this is from Tai Chi. This is going to get your energy flowing big time. Breathe. Flow. Oh, there's a fly in this room. That's going to be exciting. And release that out. Stand up. Shake out those legs. Shake it out. We're going to warm up our ankles. Come up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down. Shake it out, shake it out. Come to the back of your mat. And we're gonna come into Vajrasana. Vajrasana Thunderbolt Pose. Thunderbolt Pose, this position is great. If you've just eaten and you would like um, your body to digest properly. Fantastic pose but we're not gonna stay here so long. If this position is no good for you, you can come up and do everything from here until we stretch out and move back down to the floor. So here we go. Hands in front of your heart space. Take a moment. Breathe in, take those arms up, extend, turn the palms out. We're going to do the um, salute to the earth. So you can come down normally like you would into a child's pose or to start to warm up that core here, connect to your core muscles, come down and try and keep this line even from the waist all the way 
to the chest, to the forehead. And there's a lot of weight here. Those arms are going to want to drop. So ready, 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 and down you go. Relax into it. Breathe deeply. Maybe have a little wobble. We're just warming ourselves up. Stretch those fingers out. Connect your pads of your fingertips into the floor. Find a little stillness. And then up to the tips of the fingers, lengthening your arms here. Lengthen your arms with a sense that you're pulling forward as you pull your shoulders back. Breathe deeply. Find space, create space, welcome space into your body. Exhale, release those hands down. Inhale, draw the belly in, start to roll forward. Tuck your toes. And we're going to lift into a plank, but move forward into um, a version of an up dog. If it's too intense, take your knees down. That's all good. But keep that belly drawn in so that you're not going to compromise your low back. Shoulders reach back. Chest opens. Breathe deep. Breathe five, four, three, two, one. The knees can come down if they were up. Draw the belly up and shift yourself back. As you shift back, connect to that core that we just charged up and lift the knees. Yeah, you can touch the ground if you want. You can have blocks beside you. Or let's just focus for a moment. Breathe. Now we're going to come down. I think it's the easy way, but if you need to come down an easier way, it's all good. So I'm going to drop my heels, drop my booty, and extend my legs out. Inhaling, taking my arms up, and exhale, reach. Now if that already feels intense, you can soften those knees, take the hands and rest here. If you're more flexible, then by all means, draw yourself forward, lengthening your heart forward. Breathe in and lengthen. Create space and openness, spaciousness in your body. Mm, just find that stretch. Starting to come into the back, the glutes, the legs. We're going to start off slow and then we'll start to speed it up a little. Inhale, release. Now this is the bit where I have to scoot forward. Otherwise I'm going to crash into the back wall. I'm going to scoot forward quite a bit. And we're going to lie down. You can lift your legs and hang here. Just having a nice gentle inversion. This is good enough. You don't have to go any further than this if um, things are tight. You can even be here. You can even just support your legs and be here. However, the rest of us are going to try for either a semi-plow supporting the hips. And sometimes it's good just to start here for the first one. But if you are more warm and flexible, you can move back into a fuller plow. I feel a lot of stretch here along my back. That fly is annoying me already. Where did it come from? And then we're going to roll forward. Roll forward, widen out those legs. And if things are super tight, hands behind you and just allow your body to lift into this position here. Breathe, but of course, if you are flexible, come on down. Hands can be in front to support you, or you can spread the hands down to your feet. And we won't go too low to start off with. We're just warming up, checking in with those inner thighs, not doing any damage to ourselves here. Inhaling, coming up, and then back down. Feet hip width apart, press and lift into a bridge pose. Glutes drawing in, belly nice and firm. Thighs kind of rolling in towards themselves. You really want to firm the glutes so that you get to charge them up. And then dropping the head down, extend the legs. Hands close to your body. Now you can do one leg at a time or firm up that core and slowly take them down with me. Ten, nine, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, five. We're holding four, 
<laughs> in case you didn't notice three belly to the ground two one oh let that come down hug those knees in and then roll up if you can shoot those hands forward so that you come up to those toes and now nice and balanced we can take our knees down to the ground lengthen the lower back really lengthen out that low back lift the chest to the ceiling breathe in a nice supported camel here nothing insane nothing intense inhale back up body draws back in and then sink it down child's pose mm, feel your body nice and stretched out beautiful all right we're going to do that all over again now what you could do is just turn around and repeat it going that way but for the sake of the camera i'll shuffle back <laughs> to the back of my mat so here we go hands in front of your heart a little faster this time inhale sweep it up exhale come on down hair pose child's pose roll up through the core tap the toes up dog with a variation of course knees down belly up back balance five four three two one shoot those hands out for balance back to the heels back to the booty and legs down inhale arms up exhale Pashyamottanasana. head to knee pose but really we're thinking about heart to toes breathe into that inhale release scoot yourself forward a bunch so that you can either just take your legs up or take them right back into a beautiful plow hold plow five four three uh -oh. hopefully the sounds okay i reckon my chin is resting on my microphone <laughs> two one Ooh, forward widen out those legs inhale exhale come on down peel the heart up lifting and lengthening feet to bridge breathe the hips up open and then slowly one vertebra at a time down legs up and take them down five four three Two, hug them in at the bottom, roll up, toes, boom, ta da, knees down, lengthen through the low back, breathe the heart to the sky, inhale up, exhale, <sighs> down to the ground, inhale, back to center. Now, if all of this is just a bit much, going too fast, just check out the um, little tutorials for the Cosmic Fountain of Youth salute to the earth moon sun all broken down and put together because we're going to really play around with it and get our body moving we're going to stand up now so up to top of the mat salute to the sun inhale sweep it up if it feels good press through the feet lift and lengthen now you can have your feet apart here or close together whatever feels good exhale belly drills in as you start to sink down <laughs> hands to feet pose inhale half exhale bow go ahead and step your right foot back a big step so we're in a lovely big lunge back knee drops as far back as it can um the front knee stacked over your ankle or slightly behind your ankle draw back through your left hip crease and feel how when you draw back that knee into the hip this glute wakes up comes alive inhale up now spread your energy across the ball of the front foot and down into the center of the heel. Keep the belly drawn in so that you are strong and you're not compromising your lower back. And exhale, release. Stepping back into a down dog, but we're going to move it into what I like to call a mountain cat. So stepping back, stay on those toes, lift the seat to the sky, round the back, chin into the chest. The weight might come forward slightly, but not a whole bunch hanging out here rounding lifting pressing everything away from the floor five four three two one we're going to move into knees chest and chin because my cat feels a little bit short i'm just going to step my feet back slightly and then i'm going to roll continue that roll through my spine knees come back down way past my hips elbows start to bend back core draws up belly button drawing upwards as my chest lands forward of my hands almost at the top of my mat chest and chin to the ground 
release down. Shrug the shoulders back, breathe in cobra. And your cobra could just be belly button height. It could just be lower rib cage height. It doesn't have to be very high. Just make sure it's not this. Off the ground with arms opened out. No, no, no. <laughs> Exhale, release down. Tuck the toes, shrug those shoulders back again. Think about pressing pelvis into floor and notice when you do that, your belly button draws up your ribs, your pelvis in the floor, belly's drawing up. That keeps the low back protected. Shrug the shoulders back. Half plank, full plank. Downward facing dog. <sighs> right foot steps forward. Lovely big step. If it doesn't go all the way, just pick it up. Take it there. If it still doesn't get there, careen those toes forward. Drop your back knee. I don't know what that is. Something's happened some sounds. I might have a little bit too much technology plugged in all around the place today. I hope nothing blows. Inhale. That would be a disaster. <laughs> Hold. Draw back through the right hip crease. Belly in. Five, four, three, two. I'm scared something's going to explode. One. Really step to the top of your mat. Hang out. Crown to the ground. And then inhale, press and rise all the way up. Hands in front of your heart space. We're going to do that again. Inhale, slip it up, up and back. Exhale, bow to the ground. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Now your half lift could be much, much higher. I've got a door in my face. Left foot, let's step that back. Low lunge, breathe it in. Draw back through that left hip crease. Belly draws in. Chest rises to the ceiling. Release. Mountain cat. Step it back. Up to your mountain cat. Round. Round the back. Chin tucks in. I'm going to step my feet back slightly so I can roll through. Take my knees back. Elbows back. Chest chin to the ground. Breathe in cobra. Just going to tuck up from here. Tuck in the pelvis through like scooping it forward. What are these noises? Tuck the toes. Flank. Downward facing dog. Breathe. <laughs> Choking on my own saliva. Excuse me. <coughs> Done. Okay. <laughs> Left foot steps forward. Low lunge. Draw back through that right hip crease. Oh, the lights are making me hot. Step top of the mat and press and rise. You can totally bend your knees like that. Inhale. Oh, hands in front of your heart space. Now it's going to get even more intense. That was salute to the sun. We've done salute to the earth. Now we've got to salute that beautiful moon. So we go earth, sort of neutral ground, and then we go sun, masculine, and now we go moon, feminine. But it's quite tough because the feminine side is pretty resilient. Hands in front of your heart space. Inhale, sweep it up. Interlace those fingers, just because we can, and because we can up to a toe balance, because I love toe balances. So gaze in front of you, find a focal point, find your stillness. Exhale, release. Ooh. Inhale, take those hands up, reach out to the side. Inhale up, out to the other side. Inhale up, we're going to step out. Now you can totally step out facing the front of your mat, but for camera's sake, we're going to step this way. And then exhale, come on down. You can have the hands come down the legs or you can have your hands on the floor. It's all good. Or you can have them on your knees even. Breathe, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Draw those inner thighs towards themselves. Draw your belly up, rise up. We're going to turn to the back of the mat. Now I don't want to be stuck in warrior two footwork so I'm going to turn my back foot in, the toes moving forward, the heels slightly moving out, my hips coming forward, drawing up through my front kneecap. Breathe and if you feel like the legs are too wide just step them in, in. it's all good. Exhale, hinge forward. Now this might be it, this might be it, this might be it or you might be able to come down, touch the ground without bending that knee a whole bunch. Find what feels good, lining up breastbone with inner thigh here. And then inhale, soften the knee to rise up, 
feet turn in, pigeon toed. Whenever we're um, standing up, unless we're opening our knees wide, we pigeon toe our feet because generally we're forward folding. But today we're gonna turn to the front, turning those hips forward, belly in, right hip drawing back, left hip drawing forward, back foot, make sure that heel has turned out and the toes have turned in. Exhale, come forward. Just find your way, draw up through the front kneecap or soften that knee slightly. We don't want to lock the leg, so see, locked, softened, locked, softened. We want the softness. <laughs> Locking will put too much pressure into your joints and that's not what we're after. I can look back at my back leg and going, I'm locking, soften. Just soften. Don't need to effort so much. <laughs> Step up to the top of the mat, inhale. Uh, exhale, bow to the ground. Right foot steps back and we're going to drop into a warrior one or a high lunge, drawing back through your left hip crease. Belly draws in, and if it feels good, lengthen, 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 lengthen through the chest. You can have Kali Mudra or Kali's Angels Mudra, depending on what you want to call it. <laughs> Breathing the heart to the sky, and exhale, release. Fingertips come forward. Toes take the weight. Drop your weight forward, drop into the fingers, and just drop your body onto your thighs. This will build strength in the fingers and the toes, and it's also like a little pose um, of pratyahara. That withdrawal of the senses, bringing you into yourself. And then we're going to step the left foot back, warrior one, or high lunge. Reach up. Energize that back knee so you're not locking it, but you're utilizing your muscles, your tendons, your ligaments. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Breathe your sitting bones to the sky. Roll your armpits in towards your face. Broaden out your back. Relax your head and neck. Now you can step your feet into center because we're going to do a dog split. Left leg lifts and we're going to let the hip, oh sorry, this is my right leg. Right leg lifts. We're going to let the hip open. Keep the weight even in your arms, so make sure the left side doesn't dip down, but square the chest to the ground. Breathe your chest back towards your legs if you can, or soften the knees if you need to, bending them as much as you need to. Remember to look for strength and softness. Lift and lengthen, open, open. Breathe, 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 breathe. Reach out through every extremity. And exhale, release. Left leg comes up. Now you can let those hips open. Check that the right shoulder doesn't dip. Let's just bring the chest back to meet the thighs and our mind. Reach up through the toes, press the floor away. Keep ease in the neck. Hold, belly gently held in as well. Five, four, Lengthen the toes right up to the ceiling. Two, one, release, roll forward. You can do that up dog with your variation of the toes flat or tuck, sorry, or flat into a full up dog. Shoulders moving back, chest opening up, length through the spine. Try not to like, oh, throw the neck back, but lengthen it out. If you want to lift, then think about lengthening the front of the throat rather than throwing the head back. Be intentional about your practice. Knees can come down, belly draws in, and almost forgot where, where, where we go from here, but we're gonna tuck our toes, draw back, draw in through the belly, lift the knees, toe balance. Hands can be on the ground, on your thighs, at your waist, or above the head. Hold, breathe, five, Four, three, two, one. Let's rise up, walk to the top of the mat, repeat, inhale, a little faster this time. And we'll go to the side straight away. I'll put the toe balance in elsewhere. Inhale up, exhale, over to the side. Inhale up to center. Now step out to the side, extend those arms, pigeon toe your feet, reach forward. Just a lovely big old kind of a starfish. Draw the ribs up, so don't drop out here, but draw the ribs up. Engage the back area. 
shoulders away from ears, ribs drawn up. And then you can bring the hands to the thighs, um, to the front for support, or slide them down, or to the floor, or a block. Come on down. And forward fold. Pasarita Padottanasana. Breathe into it, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Rise up. This is called transition pose number two. Turn your feet forward including that back foot it's really important draw your back hip forward breathe into it exhale reach down or reach out soften the knee rise up turn face the front turn face the actual front <laughs> and exhale come on down and then go ahead soften the knees step to the top of your mat inhale feet together or if you're a bit wobbly slightly apart interlace the fingers toe balance five four three two one exhale bow right foot steps back warrior one rise up breathe into it exhale step to the top sink down into that big old hold balance thing step left foot back warrior one draw back to that left hip crease belly draws in exhale step back downward facing dog feet in together dog split release other leg dog split release you can step the feet back a bit if you want if it's easier for you to move into your upward facing dog this fine length extension through the spine drop the knees and pull back and lift the knees find your balance hold five four three two one we're gonna drop those knees take a moment because now we're gonna sew it all together we're gonna do it rapidly and then we're gonna add some more into it might, might do it another time and then we'll call it a day so back to the back of your mat hands together in front of your heart space salute to the earth let's get grounded connect to our root chakra get centered connect to Gaia mother earth and just think about all of the things that earth represents for you while I just my clothes hands <laughs> together in front of your heart space And here we go. Inhale, sweep those hands up. Exhale, open the mat, hip pose. Down with control. Roll up and through, tuck the toes up. Dog variation, knees down, belly draws in. Toe balance. Now you can come down the way we have been. If you're stronger, a little L sit. So get your body a little bit close to the thighs. Lift through the core so that you can take those legs through, take the body down. It's a big lift through the core. Inhale up. Exhale, come through, chest forward. There is a tutorial for that L sit up there, so check it out, it's super fun. Exhale a little deeper. Notice how the body is so open now. Inhale, release, scoot forward, zoop, roll back, or just take those legs up. Breathe into it, feel that lovely stretch out through the spine here. This is what um, plow pose is so good for, keeping the head centered the whole time. Roll forward balance here so that we can extend the legs either just breathe here or reach forward inhale come back getting ready for bridge lift glutes in energize through the thighs and knees strong length through the neck little space for the chest and the chin release lift those legs take them down five four three two hover here as you draw your belly button down into the ground hug it in rock up Boom, balance. If you chuck your hands out in front of you, you'll have the confidence, confidence to do that rock and you're not gonna go and somersault all over the place. You're gonna find yourself on your toes, pleasantly surprised. Drop those shins down, lengthen through the low back, out to the sky. And then exhale, Ooh, bow to the earth. Thank you, earth, Gaia. Maui, Mother Earth, Papa Tuanuku, all those beautiful names for her. Hands in front of your heart space. Take a moment. 
All right, let's come up to salute the sun. Embrace our masculine energy. Sun, Surya, hands in front of your heart space. Inhale, breathe it up. Exhale to the ground. Inhale, half lift. Right foot steps back, low lunge, breathe it up, draw back through that left hip creases. Mountain cat, so step back like a down dog, up to the toes, round, and then knees, chest, chin to the ground. You can always step the legs back a little bit. Really, shrug the shoulders back, cobra, tuck under from there, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, lovely low lunge. Go ahead, step to the top of your mat and inhale without banging your head on the door in front of you. Rise up, up and back, hands in front of your heart space. Now you can always just go up without the back. Here we go, getting warm. Let's get into our strong, fierce feminine side. Inhale, sweep it up. Salute to the moon, exhale out sideways. Inhale up, exhale to the side. Inhale up, maybe a little up. More, extend out, pigeon toe the feet, exhale, come on down, all the way, inhale, transition pose, turn, turn those hips in, turn the back feet, swivel, 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 exhale, come down, inhale up, notice how much more flexible you are, <laughs> take a moment in the center and then come down. Step it up to the top of the mat, inhale, find a Focal point, a drifty, interlace the fingers, rise up, hold, five, four, zip the energy up from the big toe balls, up through the center of the body, out through your crown, and you will have balance, release, and now zip it up, exhale to the ground, right foot steps back, high, uh, warrior one, or high lunge, whatever your jam is here, and then to the top of the mat, I need a bigger room. <laughs> Left foot steps back, Ooh. warrior one, exhale, downward facing dog, right leg up, dog split, release, left leg up, dog split, release, roll, upward facing dog, stretch out that throat, mm. knees down, belly in, back, toe balance, let's find it, wherever you need, Belly and strength here. And hands in front of your heart space. We're going to repeat it all over again. This time we're going to add in some flavor. Hands <laughs> together in front of your heart space. Inhale. Exhale. Roll, tuck the toes. Breathe in, up dog, knees down, pull back. Balance. You can always be balanced here or here. Now make your way down to the floor, either with an L sit, boom, or a different way. Breathe the hands up, exhale, fold. Inhale, really scoot those hips forward and roll back. Now take it wherever you want. You can be in a nice full plow here, or if you want, and you're familiar with a um, shoulder stand, which we also have a tutorial of, so check that out. Ta -da. You can shoulder stand, you can stay and plow. You can just have your knees resting on your hands or your legs straight up, black, back flat on the ground. Just find what feels good. Keep your head centered and all of those things. You don't want to move your neck around. Keep that spine straight. All right, let's take that down. Roll up, find balance. Balance, boom, balance, ha. Huh? Little boat, <laughs> take those legs out, inhale, lengthen. And if you're going forward, come with me. Maybe we grab our toes and look at how much more flexible we are suddenly after all of that stretching out. Inhale, come up, bring those feet in, bridge, and breathe the hips up. Make sure your knees are comfortable, glutes work thighs work, lengthen through the spine, make some space for the chest and the chin, release down, legs to the sky, and we're going to go for 20, right, here we go, I'm going to count 10 twice because it's nicer than counting from 20, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one, a ten, nine, core up here, eight, seven, six, five, belly towards the ground, four, three, two, before those heels touch the ground, bring those knees in, draw yourself up, take a moment, <laughs> drop down to the shins, lengthen, stretch out that belly, inhale up, and exhale, come on down, inhale back to centre, a little moment of reference to the earth, and let's rise with the sun, inhale, take it up, Breathe it up, exhale, bow. And now half lift, because half lifts are great. Exhale, bow, left foot steps back, low lunge. Breathe in. Let's circle those arms around here. Let's bring our right hand to the knee, reach over to the right side so we get a nice stretch through the TFL. Oh, feels so good. And then let's release the left hand to the ground. Lift the left knee and reach open through the right arm. Shoulders into the body. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Step back. Mountain cat. Round, 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 round. And then knees, chest, chin. Boom, boom. Release. Shrug the shoulders back. Cobra. Tack the body under. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward, drop it down, low lunge, open out those arms, circle them up, and down, left hand to the knee, right hand reaches up and reaches over, keeping the hips squared up so you get that lovely stretch from the IT band, the TFL, exhale, release, can't remember if we did anything else. So, we, yes we did, right hand to the ground, le right leg lifts and twists, there we go, I'm with it. <laughs> and then we're going to step to the top of the mat, and roll and rise, hands in front of your heart space. Here we go, let us salute the moon, inhale, over to the side, exhale, inhale up, exhale over. Inhale back to centre, step it out wide, pigeon toe those feet, coming halfway here. Beautiful halfway, remember, draw the body up here. And we're going to take our left hand to the ground, right hand to the sacrum. You can keep it there, draw those shoulders back, and if you want, you can extend the hand up, or you can tuck it behind you and oh, bring it through to the thigh, opening the body up more. Shoulders draw in. And the thighs working, knees not locked, and then release. Inhale, lengthen, and swap hands, left hand to sacrum. Remember, it's always about lengthening our spine. Shoulders around the back, twist, open up, stretch the collarbones apart. Move here out of your face if you need to. And reaching back through the heels, through the sit bones. And exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen. And then maybe slide down a little deeper. Breathing into it. My legs are too wide, my head's got nowhere to go. <laughs> Take a few moments. And maybe if my legs were longer. Inhale, press. And rise up. Turn to the back of your mat. Draw your hips square. Lengthen through your tailbone. Breathe in, exhale, come forward. And while we're here, you can either place your left hand to the outside of your left foot, if it's your left foot that's forward, or to the inside, or you can lift the body a little bit. And let's open into a warrior, uh, um, what's this called? A triangle pose, Trikonasana. Lengthen the lower torso. Open out the body, reach into the back, edge of your back foot. Now if you need to be higher, that's all good. I'd rather you be here than he, here, which happens a lot, lengthen, 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 inhale, roll up, soften the knee to rise up, turn the feet in, 
turn the other way and exhale come on down exhale down the toes are all turning forward here when we inhale rise up and turn into our triangle we get to turn that back foot out a little more breathe into it so it's like warrior one feet position into warrior two feet feet position hair everywhere might be time to cut it <laughs> lengthen through the lower torso and exhale release soften that front knee go ahead step to the top of your mat find your focus straight away toe balance hold five four three two or one let's stay on our toes sink into a little chair hug the knees in thighs in slide the weight back here turn those palms forward we're going to move into a little flamingo weight is on the and you can do this all with your heels down if you want weights back lift oh flamingo balance 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 release other side lift <laughs> i knew that was gonna happen <laughs> I just had it in my mind and of course my mind made it happen. Exhale, bow. <laughs> right foot stairs back. What are we doing? Warrior one. Da -da. Release to your little squat. Left foot steps back. Warrior one. Belly in. Really step back. Downward facing dog. Dog split. Any leg. It's all good. If you want, you can bend your knee. Flex your foot, lift the knee to the sky. Draw those armpits equal. Try not to let the right armpit, if it's your right leg up, kind of splay open. And then straighten the leg, release. Other side, extend. If you want, bend the knee. Flex the foot, lift. Move that knee away from your hip bone. Shake out the head and neck. And let's release there. Let us move, boom, into a plank. And then from there, if you want, so don't do that, that's lazy. I just got lazy. Lift through your plank there. If you want, you can chaturanga and then upward facing dog if you want. You don't have to. And then let's see how I draw everything up to take my knees down so I don't leave my back vulnerable pull back lift the knees find that balance i'm puffed Whew. hands over head i'm breathing hard five four three two one hands in front of your heart drop those knees come on down take a moment I know I said we'd do it again, but I feel like that's, that's heaps. That's enough for your day. Don't need to hold you here all day long. So let's stretch out the only thing that, well, I was going to say the only thing that sequence doesn't do is a twist, but we did the twist, nailed it. We've pretty much stretched our entire body, but we're still going to do another twist because twists are amazing. So come on to your backs. Which way is the best way to line this way? <laughs> so I can look at you. Come on to your backs. Left leg down. Squeeze that right leg in. Nice, good squeeze. And then extend the right arm and take the left leg, uh, right leg, right leg across your body. If you need to, you can just stack. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you want to, you can stack, take right foot over, right leg over the top and curl it up. And if you need to move the hips, go for it and find a lovely deep twist. Breathe into it here, hold. The floor's a bit hard for my hips there. Well, especially when you're lying on a mic pack. <laughs> and I hope the sound's been good for you. It's always a bit daunting using new equipment. What if it fails? And then release, come back to center. Extend. Sorry, it's about new equipment. Ow. There we go. Extend your right leg. <laughs> Left leg in. Take it across your body. There we go. And of course, if you want, you can do any of those other variations or you can just stay in this one. This is called Universal Spinal Twist. Mm, head can be in any direction you like. 
just feel into the stretch. You might be getting it in your armpit. You might be getting it down your arm. You might be getting it down the spine. It might be in the hip. Release. Back to centre. And we're going to widen out the feet and drop those knees in. Actually, before that, let's give ourselves a hug because we deserve it. Knees in, lows between the knees, a little cuddle. You're always welcome to go through that sequence a few more times. But if you're ready to call it a day, feet wide, knees in, arms wherever you like, close your eyes. Actually, you know what? One hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Super relaxing. Five deep abdominal breaths. And if you're feeling like Shavasana is calling, I just about zoned right out there and had to remind myself that I'm still filming. Um, drop yourself into Shavasana or you can come into a child's pose. You can sit if you prefer or you can just stay exactly where you are if that's feeling super delicious. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh it out. <sighs> you can do one more or just surrender. Just feel that energy pulsing through your body, the prana, life force, the shifts that we've created. Feel the tingling, the nourishment and that deep deep rest. As you soften your eyes, relax your jaw, soften the neck, the shoulders, the chest, relax your right arm down to the fingers, relax your left arm down to the fingers, relax your chest, your upper back, relax your belly and your middle back and your lower back. Relax your buttocks, your hips, your pelvis. Relax your thighs. Relax your knees. Relax your ankles, your calf muscles, your feet, your toes. Relax. Relax. Relax.
leave you here as long as you like. If you want to get up with me now, you can, but otherwise just stay here and bliss out for as long as you need to. If you're ready to get up, you can wriggle a little bit, stretch a little bit, roll around, do what feels good, do what feels right. And eventually you can make your way back to a comfortable seat. Thank you so much for joining me. If you really love this practice or if you enjoy me as a yoga teacher, um, follow me, click the like thing, the subscribe thing and the notification bell so that you know when I upload. I try to upload every single week but this year, as we all know, has been a challenging year. <laughs> Um, but I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it.